Oh, hello, integrals and the Frenchals. It's Dahl. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, we are going to bring back Mega Gardevoir, who is now faster with some of the new cards from the recent expansion and can, well, one shot any Pokemon still. But even faster, so I'm going to explain to you how this deck works, and you're going to see it in seven awesome matches. Two Mega Pokemon matches, three tournament rounds, and two more interesting matches. I felt like I had to squeeze it. So, let's get started. All right. Mega God of War got reprinted for the Generations expansion, and, well, she's, she's just the same card. She just looks a lot better. Now same ability. She has Goku's Spirit Ball from Dragon Ball Z where she takes all the fairy energies from your side of the field and boosts her damage for her brilliant arrow. Uh, for every fairy energy there is on the field on your side it does 30 damage. And the biggest goal of this deck is to get six energy cards. Uh, maybe a little more for those mega Pokemons that we're about to fight but Six usually allows you to KO most EX Pokemon to the game. So, yeah, but that's that's just optional because you can totally get more. And we're going to find ways to do that really quickly. And just going to brush by the regular Gardevoir. Okay. Uh, she is really brave. Because most fairy Pokemon, they're afraid of steel. They're afraid of pollution, but not this Gardevoir. Shining Wind. She's not afraid of steel after she uses this attack and does a nice chunk of damage, 100. And that'll definitely be nice when we go against Mega Scissors. Okay, and those are, well, she is our main attacker. We will actually connect God for us. How are we gonna get those fairy energies? Same way we always do with fairy decks. Xerneas Geomancy, he is our really good iPhone charger because with one energy. You can produce two more energies from your deck straight onto your Gardevoirs or whoever is hiding in the back. Sometimes he doesn't really deliver to, to the right person because Gardevoir isn't there yet. Sometimes Gardevoir likes to play hide and seek and hide in the back, so we have to give it to other Pokemon, which we will use our fairy male woman. Yes, to, to bring those energies onto the right Pokemon. Fairy transfer. That's often as you like. You can move fairies' energies around your Pokemon, which is very convenient when they're not on the right Pokemon, and when you have to heal them all. And we'll talk about that in a bit. And final Pokemon is Shaman, our takeout sushi. She's really fast. You don't have to evolve her, but you can only use her once, usually. But I know she's a bit, a bit lazy. We're gonna make her work a lot more by using the super scoop of vacuum. This item is magical. What do you mean? Because it does a lot of things. It is gated by a coin flip, which really sucks. But the possibilities are amazing. Because what if you pick up Gardevoir? You completely heal off all her damage. All of it. And before you do that, you can just move all the energies off through your fairy male woman and take the spirit link. Bam. Fully healing a mega Pokemon is nothing to It's it's scary. Or your opponent, of course. Or you really need a retreat. Now I know we are using the fairy guard, which anybody with a fairy energy has a fairy free retreat. But in some cases you need to use this. Because you're gonna be stuck somehow, maybe a row with pieces and up. Free retreat, or they're sleeping, or to confuse some strange status condition, this will work. I should have just said sleep, because that's actually one that counts. Okay, and of course, Shaman. You can use Shaman's effect maybe twice, technically up to four times a turn. So if you draw all these, so it is so much more versatile than the Max Potion, which is why there is zero in this deck. Did I try it out? Yeah. I said, this is going to be much more fun. So that's why this is the one that's in. Okay. Why is this one faster than other previous Guard of War decks? Because Max Elixir. Now I know in the past, Xerneas is an excellent iPhone charger. But we got even better backup ones. This thing is technically, 
No, Xerneas is attack! Except it only does one energy, one time, but come on, you can easily get up 180 damage in a single turn with Brilliant Arrow, which is why this deck is faster than the four. Okay, so gonna very, very quickly brush through the remainders. We have the Spirit Link, so she does not lose her turn when Mega Gardevoir evolves. We have a Muscle Band that should have been a Fighting Fury belt because I thought I was gonna run into Reggie Ice, so I was gonna have to snipe these off with Zernaeus. Then run into it, and having more HP was more useful overall, although maybe I should put the belt back. Okay. There's Skyla, because Skyla gets items including the very important Spirit Link, and among of other stuff. And you want to take a risk? Grab this, and this will do s amazing things when it's hit! And it's four Sycamores. Because, uh, well, if there's no Octillery, you say, put the Sycamore in. I love this part of the text. Draw seven cards. This part has screwed me over, and games that you uh, will see and will not see. And this is why in, um, I changed it from previous versions where it only had one Super Rod. You know, one bad game can really change your mind. So there's two Super Rods now. Thank you very much, Sycamore. And one Birch. Because sometimes you just need to reshuffle your cards back and you don't want to discard them all. But overall, I, I like the seven cards better. But there's, a, there's a time to use Birch. And we got Pokemon Fan Club because it grabs out our core Pokemon, Gardevoir, Spritzy, which evolves into Roatis, and Xerneas, or even Shaman. So, one of the best starting supporters that you could have. Of course, a regular iPhone, and Ultra Balls, which makes the world go round. I mean, it's one of the best items to get Pokeballs, Pokemons out. So, this is the deck. I'm trying to charge up my Z Gardevoir. I'm using Xerneas and the Max Elixir to quickly get as many energies as I can, and Aromatis will move the energies around. I'm clicking all the wrong Pokemons we'll talk about. Great job, Doug. Now, let's see how this deck does. We're going to start off with two Mega Pokemons. The really nasty Latios and Scizors, which is Steel, and Tournaments, and two interesting matches in there. Okay, let's start. You know, both Ralts and Abra do the teleport move. In fact, Ralts learned it twice. So basically, they were like, throw a Pokeball and just hope it catches it on your first turn. Yeah, that's annoying. Anyways, welcome to another very awesome Guard of War match. Let's get started. And, all right, we're starting off. He actually attacked me on his first turn because fast raid. He doesn't care if his first turn or not. 40 damage, eat it. And he may even take me out next turn. Um, okay. In that case, I know I need a shaman and. If. No, Xerneas and a shaman. In case Xerneas goes down, the Guard of War is not ready. Therefore, we gotta do this. So, toss everyone down. I put my faith in you. Shaman, three more cards. I, I can still sick more. I can get more cards. Okay, we're definitely not gonna go and charge up the front. Xerneas. We're gonna go and. Hey, more energies. Awesome. Gardevoir. That last spot, who should it go for? Let's go for another Gardevoir, of course. And Geomancy. Let's go ahead. Evolve you. Or not evolve you. Charge both of you up. Gardevoirs. Here, ladies. Uh, have some fairy energies. We're getting close to critical mass. Technically, if I get an energy card due to weakness resistance, I can already take this guy out. And, well, that's gonna be a really fast win. Heads! Oh! Oh, ooh, those are really epic skates. Nope. Just water energy, so any other energy. Oh, whoa, shoot. Taking a look. Taking a careful look. I technically, if I Sycamore, Fairy gar Garden, I need Fairy Garden and an energy to win. Am I gonna be really greedy? No. I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna play it safe. So let me go ahead and promote this Gardevoir into a Mega Gardevoir. We still have Sycamore in our hand, and let's go ahead since. 
I have time, he does not. We're gonna go out and give these two ladies more fairy energies. So now I'm pretty much at critical mask. This sycamore is, he's like, you ready for this tunnel? I'm gonna draw with you the best hand ever. And Sycamore himself, whoa, that's a lot of card. It is, oh, the Chromat Latios deck. And, you know, if I had been aggressive with Sycamore, that would have ended the game right there. But all he can actually use is Sonic Ace, which I believe he'll try to shoot my... I don't know, he could go for a Spritzy. Sonic Ace. He's gonna go for Shaman! Oh, poor Shaman, no! That's okay. He got two prize guards. He uh, and he can do Sonic Ace again. Check. No, he can't. I'm gonna take him out. Beautiful Fairy Garden. You're gone. You're gone, buddy. Here's revenge for the Shaman. Am I gonna stick more Lysanders right in my hand? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save Lysander. Take this weakness. 360 damage. Garvor out in a couple turns. Awesome! Another Spirit Link, another Fairy Energy. I knew the Zubat was gonna come out. I was like, yeah, oh, dang, Fairy Weakness really sucks. Golbat! And it's gonna go for the poor Spritzy. He, he, he's taking apart my weak Pokemon, so... Uh, this means I will not be able to move energies, which is not too bad at the moment. I see if Double Dragon Energy comes out, Lysander, it's like... Let's get him. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Mega Latios. Ghost down. Ooh, the scored Mega Latios. And who's coming up next? Maybe Shaman? But I think this is... Oh, right. This is definitely another Zubat line. And he probably... I don't, I don't know. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. This deck does not have the damage to take out Guard 4 really quickly. And Shaman comes down. Four, five more cards, up to six cards, Sushi Master, at level. I don't know where that came from. Uh-oh, Spirit Link, Mega Latios is out, but thankfully I have, what, Target Whistle? No, he's like, hey guys, I'm, I'm back here again. Oh, this this deck is really meant to take out my shape. Unfortunately for you, I have Critical Mask, even without Weakness or resistance. I would have still taken it. Well, last turn I would not, but. Let's go ahead and put energy on you. Let's go ahead and put a spirit link. <laughs> okay! Weakness 420 damage. And there goes your core Pokemon. And we got Aromatees. Ooh, yeah, I forgot about you. Quick and easy way. Okay, okay, let's move on. Guard of War or Alakazam? Two big psychic Pokemon. Hmm. Alakazam. Welcome to another very awesome Mega Guard of War match. Or technically, maybe the first one. Um, let me go ahead and play this down. Fairy Garden, I see. Ooh. I was thinking about shame, but we're gonna save it for later. Let me go ahead and charge. Is there an A? No, that actually should have gone for Mega God of War. Here we go. Let me play Sycamore. One more energy. Uh, uh, oh, oh, wow. Okay. So, let me go ahead and play everything, and I'm gonna end my turn. I have pretty much the whole shebang set up. I'm missing a Spirit Link, but right now I got time. But we do need to quickly charge up our Pokemons with energies, and maybe we can one-shot this, this metal deck. I take double damage to metal. Technically, if I fight with God of War, there is no res well weakness, because when I use Shining Wind, I can two-shot it. So just give me one more turn to set up, and I'll be okay. Now looking at this, maybe I should have, uh, you know, got shame last turn with my Ultra Ball. That's, that's just the price you gotta pay. And drowsy. What kind of pose is this? It's like, <laughs> it's, and it's sparkling, and it's. I, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna ignore that. 
That's Drowsy. And a Spirit Link. And why would Drowsy be... Oh, he can put me asleep. While his stadium will prevent his own Pokemon from going to sleep. So Mega Sizzle comes out. We are a little bit in trouble. Steel Wing. Ouch. 40 damage. Okay. Hey, extra free energies. Awesome. This time, it's definitely going to go into Gardevoir. You know what? I need time. And... I do want you to retreat your Rousey. How how fat is Rousey? He is like two two retreat costs, okay? Eh, just give me some more time. I'm gonna charge up both my God of Wars. And we can move energies because already Aromatease is out. Okie doke, that's pretty much nearly critical mass. Here comes another energy. Is Mega Scissor gonna come out? Oh, Mega Scissors, unless he chooses his Drowsy. I don't think so. But if that happens, we are going to have to send Mega Gardevoir. You Shining Wind and start dueling with it. You gave me one extra turn. Can you one-shot me? That's a big yes. I'm I, I see what I need to do. We're going to use Geomancy one more time. I really hope Lysander does not come. But now I am in Critical Mask. Next turn, if possible, I will go take the offensive and attack. But man, this thing can one-shot any anything in my deck. Well, let's Shining Wind. Let's see if this... this Gotta pull this off. All right, so Drowsy is like, hey, look at me. I'm up up front. And there's an energy. He's going to try retreat it with energies. Discard my stadium. Okay. This super scoop up. Oh, well, we got to... Let's go ahead and pull this up. It worked. I think I should have moved the energy off. Yeah. Okay. We will send you out. We're gonna use our very first attack, which am I gonna toss their nails down? Not yet. I may just use it as ultra ball fodder. Shining wind. We are gonna get rid of that drowsy. You don't need to retreat. I'm gonna take care of that for you. Alright, so got Another card of war and Mega Scissors, you know what's gonna happen. Oh, I do need energy still. Oh, and he was saving that level ball. He guy's like, oh, you took out Drow Drowsy. I got another one right here. And yep, that's gonna come down. Hypno, ooh, the sleep and Mega Scissors. That's actually not so bad of a combo. Why does it work? Because it cannot be affected by sleep. Now, I use Shining Wind. I should have no weakness. Bingo. Goodbye, Mega Scissors. I do need one energy, so if I don't get it, we are... This little gamble just, just didn't work out. Mega Guard Warrior up, but I must have a Shaman. Which means I can pay this. I definitely can't keep the Spirit Link, but please Shaman be here. Thank you. One energies or Max Elixir. Any, any of those would be awesome. Okay. So 180 damage. I actually need two energies. No, that one energy is fine. Okay, we got a spare. This there are seven energies across all my Pokemon. Bingo. That's how you do. 240 damage. Dealt with a Mega Scissors. Got it. Hey, even more energies. Woo! All right, Drowsy is like, hey, look, I'm fabulous. That is it. Ooh, a little t crazy there. All right, got Mega Scissors. We're we're gonna move on to no Mega God of War in the game had a pixelate ability where it changed all normal attacks to fairy, so you could teach it Hyper Beam. It would be like a fairy Hyper Beam, and that was that was awesome. Well, anyways, welcome to the first round of the tournament. This is either Basic Blue or Greninja Break, which is really a bad. It's also a terrible hand, so please, Shaman, please be here. I'm gonna play the Ultra Ball, and if it's not here, we'll make do. 
All right, so super odd energy. I have plenty of spare energies. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So let me go ahead, play this down. Oh, man, I can't use the max elixir. See, but I can move the energy soft max elixir of shaman through us. Wow, that's a lot of max elixirs. Two energy. I now I regret playing that, throwing away that fairy energy, and keeping Mega Gardevoir here. Okay, so if there was, if I pull an energy, I just got throw it on you, retreat, and I could win the game by just beating up Froki. Froki. So one energy, dive ball. Oh, this this is looking towards Greninja Break. Oh! It's basic blue. No, 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 Greninja Break still, this is still a good card for our Greninja Break because if you pull those energies out, you can throw them like shurikens, throw water, if that's possible. 10 damage, yep. And now we're, we're stuck. You know, if we're stuck, why not go Mega? All right. I still have just waiting, waiting for the right car. Everything's gonna be okay. All right, so now you've got time. I'm, I'm... I'll just wait here. Double colors, energy comes. Replace the stadium. <laughs> we can do this all day, except there's no reason for me to do that. There we go. Woo. Uh oh. Which it is the basic blue crocodile. Round one of the tour, but. I'll give you time. It's not like I, I have a choice, but please pull me an energy. Let's go ahead and pull up two other techs that we sort of need. And now... Su Sh Shaman, why can't you learn to cook sushi? I'm gonna end my turn once again, and I am at the helm of this guy. Do whatever you like. I have to wait until I pull the right cards. Greninja actually came out. Oh boy, the, 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 hey, Greninja break can actually show up too. And Articuno is still here. He, Shauna, and he's gonna, oh man, he, okay, so time is running out though. He has already charged up two Pokemons that are quite powerful. Miss Slash, 50 damage. So Gardevoir is like, oh no, you have to rescue me, Donald. I know, I had the energy there to rescue you, but I I threw it away for a max elixir. So here we go, Miss Slash. 60 damage. Bingo. I still have to wait one more turn though. Because when I evolve this, I can move energies around, but I need my retreat. One final turn, Mr. Basic Blue. Just one more. So, at this point, Donald, where's your draw power? Like Birch or Sycamore? Or one of those four super scoop ups that could pull the Shaman back up? So, they haven't come yet, which means I'm gonna have a lot of draw power in a bit. So, Water Shurikens. You're gonna go for the Mega God of War, huh? Okay. I don't have a spirit link, so. That's it. That's your final turn I'm gonna give you. Here we go. <laughs> Lysander. We're gonna move all these cards back. And here we go. Z oh, Aromatis. Is Zerneas here? Zerneas is here. I have no cards left in my hand. I cannot one shot that Greninja. But, we are gonna move this energy. Move it to you. I could actually put them on Shaman. I don't feel like it though. And we're gonna move this one energy. We're gonna put this on you so now you can retreat. And we're done. So now I am gonna retreat onto Xerneas. And we are gonna go charge them. Using Shaman is actually a good choice too. Given that I do still have time, so. Now, I have enough energies. 
I cannot one-shot EX Pokemon, but a Greninja is right in the ballpark. As long as it doesn't go break. And we see the basic blue Magikarp. This thing is ready to go. Freezing Wind is going to be even stronger than Greninja. Let's see what he's going to do. He's like, nope, I am definitely going to go for this God of War. That is the danger. It's Mega God of War. Woo! Water Shuriken. Soften it up. Ooh. Getting a little bit low now. This lag. 50 damage. A little bit painful. Oh, I can get. I can get destroyed at this point. Mega God of War will be defeated if I don't heal it somehow. So, we're gonna go and see if we can heal it. We're gonna grab out the Super Scoop Up. And. Here we go. Scoop it up. I'm gonna scoop it up to shame if it works. It does not work. Alright, Donald, you're in a tough, tough spot. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna retreat. And I'm gonna use Aromatisse. Fairy transfer to move up some of my energies onto you. So this is... I think this, this guy's a pretty competent player. Here we go. Sky Return. Soften you up so even that a regular, even Zorneus or Guard of War can take care of you. The, one of the bad things that happened was I have to take these energies back. But, okay. Time. I cannot believe this basic blue is putting me in peril. But he is running out of resources, which is good. Okay. You know what? We are going to... I'm not even gonna shame it. I'm gonna wait till I can lose that, use up that last energy. I probably am gonna try Lysander and finish off this Articuno. But first, we need to charge up the energy counts. There we go. One, two. Next turn, I'll take the offensive initiative. Greninja is not so bad because he has a much lower damage potential than this Articuno. It's only 50 damage, and if he burns up his energies, up, oh, up, oh, even less energies for you. So now I need to scoop it up, Spirit Link. He is still gonna shuriken this poor Guard of War. And now Miss Slash. Okay. Let's see what we can do. We got the Spirit Link. Awesome. So you're not Mega Guard of War yet. Let me go ahead and put another energy down. Doesn't matter which. I can move anywhere. Oh, I have plenty of energies. Greninja, huh? God of War. Let's take you out. And... Oh, missed. This is the thing that can one-shot me. This thing has a chance to one-shot me. So, given that, we are gonna use Brilliant Arrow. 110 damage. Finish it off. And Sycamore, man, where were you? Greninja has to come out. If he needs one water energy to finish me off. Water energy. Like an Australian accent. If he does not, he does not! Awesome! Uh-oh. An epic splash can take me out now. Which is gonna be really awkward. Okay. You know, Shaman, you may be able to get me this back. If Sycamore gets played, everything goes down. So I am gonna play everything I can. See if I can scoop up and heal up my Mega God of War. We're gonna see if this works. Fairy transfer. Move these energies back onto Shaman. Here you go, Shaman. And if they don't work, that'd be awkward. Done. Flippity flip, flippity flip. God of War, you're up. I know you're wounded, but let's go. Let's go ahead and throw you down. Let's go ahead and promote you to make God of War. And I think that's it. Brilliant arrow. 240 damage. Still think I need to heal up one more time. That's okay. 
So, I... Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit... That's a little danger of using Super Scoop. You trade off the versatility for a chance. But now, at least the Epic Splash cannot get me. Okay. Am I... Should I be afraid of you? I'm afraid of a magic card. I am terrified of this magic card, especially when it has that many energies on it. So we are gonna go even add more energies. And to secure, let's just go ahead and get another Aromatis line. Brilliant arrow. 270 damage. Overkill this magic card. It died nine times. Man. Okay. Articuno is now up and put me asleep. Really annoying. I'm down to my ten last ten cards. That's it. That's it. Okay. A little st very stuck there at the beginning, but pull it through. Woo! Okay. Not bad for the first round. I that, that got tense. That got a little scary at the middle part. But round two is coming up next. And I'll be playing Sebast 111. So I'll see you then. Alright. Guard of War. French. Guard is, of course, guard. Same as English. Devoir. Dev I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it means duty. So, guard duty. That sounds pretty macho, because you think of a watchdog or a bodyguard, which is not totally not guard of war. Welcome to a second round of tournament. So, between a muscle band. Because I'm going to discard a spirit link. I will only have one Spirit Link left, so that's why I'm going to choose the Spirit Link. Although, I could one-shot this Articuno. Okay, so. Again, Ultra Ball. Okay, I see what I can do. I'm going to hit Done. Let me go ahead and discard these two energies. It's like, whoa, though, that's a lot of energies, I know. It really sucks. We are going to bring out our Shaman. And before I do that, let me shrink my hand. I'm gonna throw out all my energies back into my deck, so when I max elixir, magic will happen. Magic, yeah. Shaman. Four more cards, what can they be? Oh, hey. I got... Oh. Let's ask the question. This is almost like Birch. No, it does not work. And it's like, whoa, were we talking about me? No, I was talking to um, the super scub of Abbas of was Birch. Because yes and no. Yes, amazing things happen. No, it just sucks. So, it was a no. We see Articuno with a lightning energy. Ooh. Well, he did made it to round two. But I think... Uh, like God of War, you gotta show, show him how to do it. Now... Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and put another energy on. I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve you. Use up everything in my hand. There's Sycamore here. Between a 50% chance and a 100% chance for seven cards. Easy. And I still can't quite one-shot you, so I'm gonna go ahead, retreat, and let Xerneas do his little magic. Go Fairy Transfer. Let's go ahead and move this energy onto Xerneas. We're gonna load up our Pokemon. And at this point, I'm really self-sufficient. These three Pokemons can really do whatever. So now, yeah, I don't really need anything else. This is good. So, I'll end my turn. Let that be, and then we'll, we'll suck it more next turn. Okay, so, we see camera apps. Ooh, okay, with the fire energy, which makes me wonder why there's a lightning energy and okay, not gonna say anything else but next turn guard of war can come out and start having fun but this guy may come out and I still do not have one shot potential okay I'll throw toss out Lysander and we're gonna bring out another guard of war yeah there we go guard of war she's here and now let's go ahead and sycamore. If no, there's there's no ifs. Oh hey, even more energies. No, it missed. But five. But next turn I can one shot that camera. So therefore, guard of war come out. 
take the offensive time. Fairy Transfer, you don't need those energy. So move them onto Pokemons that do. There we go. And I do would like to send out Gardevoir out next, so go ahead and take all the energies. This is the correct distribution. Here we go, Brilliant Arrow. It's your Pokemon erasing time. Okay. Another fairy energy, awesome. And now Camera is like, I got this guys. Watch me. I'm gonna use my tumbling. It can't happen. I'm gonna tumbling jet. If it's all heads, it can take out Mega God of War. With the fighting energy, man. I was, I was when this game started. I thought it was Ho Oh, oh, it's not continuous tumble. Ah, ha ha. Okay, so where's my spirit link? Yeah, there we go. There's my spirit link. And let me go ahead, use the Spirit Link, put it on you. Launch the bench base and go for Cernaeus. Brilliant arrow, one shot, two more prize cards, and Dodu is gonna have to come out. Oh, the Garden War, okay. It's like, don't worry, I got. No, I don't. It's like, this head is like, I got this. This head is like, let's go back. Don't <laughs> Escape rope, I get a free retreat. I got free retreat right here. So, unless he cancels out my stadium, that doesn't matter. Okay, that was it. Very easy round one, round two. But he did make it to round two and defeated this first one. So, all right, it is the last round. We'll see what's up, what's in store for us. And looks like my opponent quickly defeated his opponent as well. See you in 60 seconds. Oh, for me it's 50 seconds. For you it's instant. You know, Deanta's art style is my favorite of the Pokemon champions, but she does have a pretty cool theme. I like the bells at the first part. In fact, just this time, because it's Meg Garfor, we're, we're going to play that song. So Deanta's battle theme. Here we go. Welcome to the final round of the tournament. Let's uh, get started. What do I need to do? I'm tempted to just Sycamore of this. That is gonna give me the most potential power. So, I'm not, since I'm gonna Sycamore, let's go ahead and discard that. It's, it's Sycamore. There's no way I can save this Mega God of War. So, there it goes. We are going to bring out Xerneas. And, let me go ahead and toss you down before I scoop you up because I would love to start out with a. Zerneas to attack on my first turn. Now Sycamore, I believe in you, man. I believe in you. Please don't get me stuck. Thank you so much, man. So now we are gonna load up this Spritzy, and when Aromatiz comes out, this could be a magic. Oh, this one missed. No. Nah, nah. I'm not gonna use that spirit link. Three more cards. Okay. Can I rescue? I can rescue Mega God of War and Energy. I technically can do it. Just I don't want to do it this turn. So I'm gonna hit done. We're gonna use Geomancy, and we need to race this Kyurem. I'm I got a Verse Seeker, so this is definitely another Sycamore. Okay, over a Pokemon fan club. You know, it was a gamble with Sycamore. Sycamore had much more potential, but what can this do? Oh, that's a little bad. Just hey, got Sycamore right anyways. Okay, when you play Sycamore, everything goes. So dump everything you can. Everything, you can have a Spirit Link. So technically I can even attack with um, Shaman, and it's gonna give me the cards back. Geomancy again. Oh man, we're gonna have to go and... Gardevoir won't come out! This is your deck, Gardevoir! You sh should come out! And nope, they're not my discard. I can't, hope they're not all prized or something. But Kyurem is now up. And he discarded my stadium, so there's no retreat. Glaciate is probably gonna win. No, he does not try to one-shot me, because if this goes down, we are in tr big trouble.
this is a really tough, tough price to pay, but I don't know why God of War chose to not show up, so this is why I must do this. I have to play Pokemon Fan Club, and I have to use the Super Scoop Up, because if I does not work, I'm going to lose three energies. I'm going to lose three energies. But luckily, we can Super Rot the back. We're going to choose Guard of War. Oh man, another Spritzy. Kind of a tight spot once again. But plenty of energies. I can all Super Rot them all back. There we go. Queen, please come out. Mega Guard of War, come out and just one-shot this Kyurem and let the game be with Glaciate. Woo! He took out a lot of energies, which I am going to get back. So, go. If I draw Mega Guard of War, I've won the game. But before we Sycamore, we're... Oh, no, you Spritzy. You stay down there. All the energies go back. God of War. You're there. You still need one energy. I know. We don't need the stadium. This is gonna be an end game if I pull a Romatisse. Bingo. Alright, so that is it. That's gonna be the last round of the tournament. Easy. Alright, Aromatis, you just need to give one energy onto this God of War. Mega God of War, and we're gonna finish this with a bang. Done. Brilliant arrow. 240 damage. KO. This is too quick and easy of a tournament. Okay. But, yeah. Maybe not the satisfying, right? Let's see if we can do one more match of squeezing it. That's gonna be coming up. But, hey! Got to the last round of the tournament. Easy opponents this time, but. It works. It's still a powerful thing. Let's see if we can find something tougher. Okay, so my opponent, even though you missed this, he mulliganed five times. I'm, I don't have this many opportunities to do this, so three, four, five, oh, six. Looks, looks, looks like it's gonna be fun. Okay, so Magna, Magna my it's up. And let's get started with the final match of this video. So, Magneton, all right. Magnezone and possibly some powerful. Lightning tech. Ultra Ball, can you sh sh tell me what that what it would be? Uh, I, I would think this might be a Shaman or whatever he has to tech up. Okay. We will see. Why the energy going to Magneton? Maybe he may try to fight with Magneton, because Magneton is a strong attacker. But let's see what I have. It is going to be a Shaman. Oh, uh, I, I, I can see how easily I can set up Guard of War. But this Max Elixir has to work. So, three more cards. Where? What is your real Pokemon? Shaman. All right, they're all just means to an end. What is the end? Tell me so I know Okay, so now we're going to take advantage and let's go ahead, load up our Pokemon. I should have actually saved this Max Elixir. I got a bit, that was for when I retreat. So that way, Guard of War can get those two energies. So now, that was when I should have used one of the Max Elixirs. Let's give you a Spirit Link. I could definitely you get Mar God of War out next turn. So this is why I'm going to save. My hand is actually good. So, I only have two choices. This is automatically doing for me. Very nice. And next turn, God of War will come out and blow him up for 300, 180 damage. So, no EX can actually survive. Thank you very much, Max Elixir. Definitely speed. All right, so. One more turn, and thanks to that five mulligan, I I, I could not resist. All right, so you do have a bit quite a large hand. What you got? Another energy comes on. Sycamore. 
Ooh, double colors energy, rare candy. Show me what you got. It is Raikou. Raikou with a, with a six body. But, oh, the retreat is gone. That means uh, Raikou with 160 hit points. And it's, it, who are you going to evolve? The front magnet zone or the rear magnet zone? I would have used your free retreat first. But he really wants to be up front. What can you actually do? Paralyze me. Static shot. Does not work. Unfortunately for him. And what do we got? I... <laughs> Skyla's like, oh, did you need a stadium? Y yes, I got you. I'm Skyla has a portable stadium where she could just go out, grab it. I now have a free retreat. Let's go ahead and bring out Garborn. Okay, there isn't really anything for me to super uh, Just wandering. I'm definitely gonna keep my first secret. Queen, you're out. Thank you. Thanks to those Max Elixirs. And I can't use any other supporters, so we're gonna use really arrow 180 damage. Even this Raikou with technically 180 hit points will not survive one shot. Oh, 210 damage. Okay, Raikou is like, I can take this, guys. Check out my body and my Fighting Fury belt. And it cannot do anything. So. I'm gonna one-shot that next turn. He's thinking, what can I do? Mega Gardevoir is suddenly out and ready to go. This is a lot better than last couple matches. So, uh, we'll go down with this. Victory. Oh, very, very short match. Okay. Um, let's move on. Okay, so I did say the last one was the last one. But this is the last, last one, because... I feel like this one is a little bit afraid already for my life. So, here we go. Let's do this. Welcome to another very awesome Garb War match. And, oh, there. Ooh, that missed. Luckily, he cannot attack his first turn. But Garb of War is going to be starting up, unfortunately. And, he, well, same strategy. Flipping up the Shaman for two more cards. And if Ariogus Ghost comes out, in a little bit of trouble. Oh boy. This is, this is looking tough. So, Crobat and Sceptile. And nope, Spinarak. Oh man, automatic poisoned. Even Xerneas is not going to survive one shot of this. So, Sycamore, I believe in you, man. I believe in you. Gardevoir luckily will survive one shot, and he's... <laughs> I hate it when you start off with Sacred Ash and Super Rod. Alright, Shaman's gonna come out yet again, so it is not lazy at all. And AZ, that's, this is looking scary. Very, very scary. And if the bats evolve, Supreme may not survive. You know, I've learned my lesson with Sycamore. We're gonna bring out Aromatis and God of War. You're the God of War that's gonna tank for me. Let's go ahead and charge everybody up. And yeah, I'm gonna try to send Zerneas out at least for one turn, try to get some more energies out. But God of War, next turn, we're gonna put our faith in Sycamore. I believe in you, Sycamore. But now I gotta wait for a disaster to happen. So, the disaster would be Ariados comes up and poisons me while Sceptile explodes. That is, that's a disaster. One hundred thirty damage. Not even Zerneas can survive this. So it, it's gonna be trade-off. When Zerneas uses its Geomancy attack, I will lose one energy. Poison Nest, Guard War, this is gonna sting really badly. I'm sorry, if I get all the cards I need, I'll definitely retreat you. 160 damage potential, and oh, the bats can sniper off. 
Go home. Come home, please. Come home, please. <sighs> okay. One more chance. Please come home. Please come home. Alright. Xerneas, you are now up. I am gonna throw Gardevoir back down. Let's go ahead. Charge you up. Is there anything I need to scoop back up? There is not. So I'm gonna Ultra Ball these two for hopefully a Shaman. If not, Romatite. Well, I did say Aromatisse, right? I think... I may have to throw a Xerneas out. We probably need you to go to Critical Mass, so... Everything's up. Geomancy. Everybody get two energies, and... I'm gonna probably... If I get a Spirit Lake, this would be epic. But... They're still there somewhere. Okay. So we're gonna wait it out. Cerneus is not gonna survive this. Lysander's Guard of War. Ooh. He is totally ready. I can still retreat. This is gonna cost me some energies, though. Ow! Actually... Well... The Spirit Link pulled off. And I have enough energies. Remove the poison for me. God of War is coming back with one vengeance. Brilliant arrow! 180! <sighs> Took it out. I'm still severely wounded, but his main attacker is gone. 50 damage. If those crowbats start coming out, we are in a little bit of trouble. But. Can't believe that last. <laughs> Spearling came out at the right time, and he is stuck. Who's coming out? We can still use Urnaeus to charge up my other Pokemon. I am not out of the game yet. And he, right now, he doesn't have anybody else with any energy, so... I'm not... I'm still in critical condition. So it's not o over for me yet. Um, Sycamore... Birch is still around. I still have a scoop up. Shaman is unfortunately was prized up this game, sad. He has to send out who to, who to send out. He had a lot of powerful starting momentum, but this is it. Shaman's coming out. That three cards. What you got, man? He might be stuck, like I am. We're both in the same boat, but between you and me, I your Sceptile's gone, and I have Mega Gardevoir in front. Who is? On the brink of her death. But she can still has so much power. And if Shaman is taken out, that's two more prize cards. I can I may be able to catch up. I need to pull my Shaman out of there. So he only has one energy. He can still like maybe sick more pull bats out. I gonna have to take a poison. So luckily. Oh, past. If I flip, I won't be able to attack, so... Shaman, please come out. Shh. Two more prize guards. The muscle band, the fairy guard, yes, we can retreat. And if this works, I am able to fully heal her and another Mega Guard for us ready to go. Unfortunately, I am not going to be able to move my energies off because I chose, hey, Zernace is going to go down. We're going to have to send another one out, but hey. Worked out that way, and I did not pull Shaman. Shaman! He's like, no, I worked too much for you, Nano. You, I was supposed to only use once. And then how dare you cheat and make me like pick me up and throw, throw me down? I've, I've had enough of this. And okay, 
Arios is gonna come out. And is he stuck? Ooh. But, alright, Sceptile. I gotta say, if, if, a, if he was... If I was not a grass deck, that deck is, looks pretty powerful, so... We now... And we're gonna try it. Come home, God of War. I promote you. I will give you the Spirit Link. Mega Evolve. There's energy. Please, come back down. There's no reason for me to play the stadium. I guess I'll give you this. Mega God of War. 150 damage. Shaman, are you here? What? You're gonna look at all five prize cards. It is the last one. Shaman is like, I, I, I got you, Donald. I hid away in the last, last, very, very last prize cards. But I think this is it. It was really a bit rough at the start, just like Greninja. But Zubat's gonna come out. And it looks like that, that may be it. Shaman's gone. He no longer can use the scoop up bats. If he wasn't stuck, this be uh this be problematic. So Okay. One more prize cards. There's nothing that could withstand Mega God of War's attack. Unless it's a Wild Lord. Which is next deck for the video, by the way. Which I probably will talk about at the end of this once he makes his move. That is it. So, brilliant arrow. I don't care. Shaman, are you gonna come out now? It's like, yep. Yeah. Hello, Donald. What's up? Can't believe for Shaman. Okay, we're done. We're through. It's time we uh, rate this deck. Congratulations, you made it to the very, very end. So, it's time we rate this deck. And I'm gonna give it a B. Plus, plus, because it stands a little bit above the, those really good B pluses tech, like Charizard. Why? Mega God of War can consistently one-shot Pokemon after Pokemon while having no the little penalty. And you can just keep on going because she can heal it off with Super Scoop Up. And yeah, that's you know, a lot of defense, a lot of offense. Once this tech is set up, I'm sure a lot of decks will have to be afraid of this. Now, the weakness is if there are faster decks who can shut down Guard of War and Xerneas right on the first few turns. Like that Sceptile. Now, unfortunately for that Sceptile, he got stuck at the end. Otherwise, that sort of speed is the sort of things that erases Guard of War before she can set up. She's definitely faster, but that's, that's still something you still have to worry about. Okay, so... What's up for next time, Donald? You know, I really need to do all the EXs of Generations expansion, but I think we're gonna take one short break. We're gonna go and try this Wild Lord out. Because I know there's a lot of water to tech that came out, and I, I can't resist. We gotta do something funny with this. Okay, so that is coming up for next time. And the last final words. Okay. You can find both the songs that uh, you heard on Spotify. All the remixes, there, at the top of the channel link. So, I think we should cut it short. That's gonna be it. Thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchers. I'll see you next time for Wild Lord. Bye bye. Okay, now it's time to go back to. Get that warlock to level 45. Oh, I'm dead. Should have talked.